Hey, what's going on, Guardians? TBL here, and the Age of Triumph has arrived, and with it, it's brought back some awesome weapons that we all used to know and love, one of which being the Necrochasm Exotic Auto Rifle. It's locked behind a quest this time around, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can very quickly farm out the starting item for that quest, the Husk of the Pit. But not your daddy's old Husk of the Pit, the new 350 Light version that you'll be using to get the Necrochasm in Year 3. Alright, so first things first, the husk drops from hive enemies, very often ogres, that you can find out anywhere in PvE. But there are a few places where you can farm ogres specifically that can allow you to get this drop very quickly. One such place is the Moon Story mission, The Shrine of Orcs. Make your way through the mission, and right before you enter the boss room in the darkness zone, there will be an ogre that you can spawn out there, kill him. If you don't get the drop, you can just jump off the cliff, reset the entire arena. But a much easier and faster way to do this is simply to load up this week's Nightfall. The Nightfall this week is of course Tanix, the Shadow Thief, the new SIVO variant of him. And as you make your way through the strike, there are two ogres that you can find in the very beginning that you can kill and seem to have a very high drop rate for the Husk of the Pit. So getting the Husk can actually be pretty simple. Just load up the Nightfall Strike, head through the first area, and when you're in the big circular room, with the Hive and the Siva Fallen going at it, there should be two Ogres and a Wizard in that room. Take out both the Ogres, if you get the drop, fantastic, you're done. If you don't, well, you can just wipe it out and it resets the entire area. This works really, really well. As a matter of fact, I got the Husk on my very first run through, and was completely unprepared for it. I didn't even have any item space for it. But thankfully, the husk itself will drop as a white engram weapon, so it's very hard to miss. And like I said, if you head in here, take out the two ogres, and don't get the husk to drop, just sit tight, let the enemies take you down, and it'll respawn all of the enemies in the area because it's a darkness zone. Then you can just make your way right back into the middle room, take out the two ogres, and try again. Doing this should hopefully get you a husk of the pit drop very, very quickly. Again, I got mine on my very first test through of this. But once you've picked up the husk, it'll start off a new quest line titled Born of the Pit, which will, just like year one, have you sequentially transforming the husk from a white weapon to a legendary to finally the exotic necrochasm. Your very first quest step will be to satisfy the weapon's hunger by using it to destroy hive of a specific type, thrall, acolytes, ogres, wizards, or knights. But we'll be covering the rest of this exotic quest in another video. I just wanted to show you guys a very quick, very effective way of farming out the all-new Husk of the Pit. Get it while you can. But alright, that's it for this one, Guardians. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.